Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. We are going to see several hours of still quiet weather ahead in eastern Iowa, but that will be changing by later tomorrow afternoon in particular. Wet and slushy snow will be possible again. If you liked yesterday, then you're really going to like tomorrow afternoon and evening. If you didn't, Fortunately, it will come and go pretty quick, just like yesterday did too. In Guttenberg at this hour, notice again, they saw a little bit of snow, but roads are clear. Streets are mostly clear and sidewalks too, in most cases, thanks to temperatures that got above freezing today. Barely. 33 in Guttenberg at this hour, 32 in Cedar Rapids. Winds around the north between about 5 to 10. That is giving us a little extra chill to the air. There was sun this morning and then more clouds and then a few little breaks trying to develop in the clouds this afternoon. But more clouds are moving in. That's what we're going to see ahead of a storm system that moves in on Saturday. So maybe just a few breaks here or there tonight into tomorrow morning. But generally the trend will be toward cloudier skies again with winds shifting from a northerly direction now to more of a southeasterly direction direction by tomorrow morning. This will allow our temperatures to rise a bit despite the clouds and that will set the stage for that wet and slushy snow. So by tomorrow afternoon, this is three o'clock on pinpoint future cast uh, rain and snow starting to move in in earnest in our western counties. There could be some light sprinkles or flurries ahead of it before the bulk of the precipitation moves in. But by five, I think we're all kind of getting in on that rain or snow again, mostly snow, just the far eastern and southeastern portion that could see a little rain mix in. The snow continues in the evening and into the early portion in the nighttime hours too, very similar to yesterday, but in terms of wrapping up, it may hang around a bit longer to, and to Sunday morning, especially in the tri-state area. In terms of precipitation amounts, one to three inches of snow looks uh, like a decent shot with this. Again, mostly on grassy surfaces due to the temperatures, but as the snow falls, we will likely see slick roads too. That's what we saw yesterday as uh, heavier snowfall rates developed. We saw those roads get slick, but then improve thanks to road crews and those temperatures. Temperatures tonight falling into the 20s, so that will set the stage tomorrow, but they should warm up enough during the day to help that snow melt. Mostly cloudy skies expected overnight as well. For tomorrow, we'll see those highs reach 34 degrees in Fayette, Decorah, as warm as 41 and 43 in Washington and Mount Pleasant, which is why that area could see a little bit of rain mix in. That's pretty warm for snow to be falling and surviving. Winds will be on the southeast between about 15 to 25. Now, the Sapodapiso Parade is going to be dry. That will be before the precipitation moves into Cedar Rapids, 33 degrees, so you do need to bundle up. It's the traditional parade route. If you don't want to head out, you can always watch it on KCRG 9.2 live and commentated on by meteorologist Joe Winter, Jan Ryherd, and Kai O'Mara. A little fun for you there on 9.2 tomorrow afternoon. Now, it will be chilly as we go toward the end of the week, uh, weekend into early next week. That's when highs stay in the 30s. For this time of year, that's decently below normal. We should be in the 40s at this point pretty consistently, uh, but it looks like we will stay in the 30s for now before we could see a return to the 50s by Wednesday, hey. 51 degrees by then. Now, Jim. Sapodapus, sap, sap. Zapadapas. You're new here. Zapadapadapas. And I think, the new, I think the easiest way to determine who's, uh, who's a Cedar Rapids oh. townie and who isn't is Zapadapaso. whether you can say it. Zapadapaso. Oh, great. Welcome Thank to the you. city, Jim. I appreciate, appreciate it. I'm it. official. <laughs> and happy Zapadapaso parade for you tomorrow. Yeah.